We're going to go live now to News Channel 18's Joe LePage, who speaks with the family of Jeremy Gibson, who are obviously still in shock this midday. Joe? Liz, we're here along 8th Street with the family of Jeremy Gibson. As you can imagine, a very emotional group of people here with us this midday. We have Joe Gibson and also his sister, uh, Jennifer Sargent, as well. Joe is his brother, Jennifer his sister. First off, the, the type of guy, and you see the pictures there uh, with Jeremy, with the kids, and, and also his two boys there, the, the type of man he was. This is Jeremy Kai Gibson, and he was my brother and our brother, and he was my mom's son, and he was these kids' daddy. And he loved his kids, and they were his whole life. He had the biggest heart of anyone I've ever known. And he loved us, and he loved everyone, and he wanted to give everyone a chance, the benefit of the doubt. And that's what these people that killed him took advantage of. Joe, obviously your sister's emotional. What were your thoughts when you heard the news and, and, and how, how painful that was for you guys? Uh, I didn't. I didn't believe it. You know, what I'm saying for a while. It took me probably until I talked to the detectives for I actually, you know, started to believe that that was what was going on. You know, it's it's kind of, you know, it kind of speaks for how the world is nowadays. You know, people prey on the weak. You know. I understand they took advantage of of uh, Jeremy's you know kind heart and, and spirit. Is that what? What you're going after there? Yeah, he he would let him stay. You know, he'd help him out whatever way he could. He'd help out anybody any way he could. And what he did was he allowed some people that were just, you know, already corrupt into his life, and they exploited him in every way they could, and eventually beat him and killed him. How how much of you guys banded together through all this? You see the the two little kids there. Uh, the importance of of being there for them. We just want to make sure that they know what kind of man their daddy was and keep him alive in his heart. They're so little, and I know in their hearts they'll know they were loved, but I just want to make sure they're going to remember him because they loved him. Three people are have been arrested. Did you know these these people as a group? We, we talked to some neighbors today who say he, they've been running with a different crowd and things like that. Did you, did you guys know the, these people that, that are now behind bars for, for killing your, your loved one? This, this girl, Carol Ann, he wanted to help her. And he tried to help her. And she brought these men in to his world when he didn't want anything to do with that. All he wanted to do was get his boys and love on his boys. And he thought he could help her. And she brought them into his life. These weren't friends of Jeremy's. These weren't people he hung with. This wasn't people he would even try to be around. I mean, it, it seemed so disrespectful too, to, to, to find out how he was killed and then to, to find his body in, in a shallow grave. I mean, a lot of anger has to be going through all of you right now. I'm guessing, right? They should have been in jail already. If the police would have done their job, they would have been in jail already. The day before, they robbed some people. And the cops had them give them the items back and just let them go. Well, one of them, Antoine or whatever his name is, he was on parole. So he should have definitely been in jail the night before my cousin was murdered. As you can... So, yeah, we're blaming you. We are blaming you, police. As you can see, a very emotional scene here on 8th Street in Lafayette. We'll continue to get more information and have updates throughout the day. Also on News Channel 18 at 5 o'clock. And as always on our website, WLFI.com. Reporting now from downtown Lafayette, Joe LePage, News Channel 18.